everyone and here uh, and welcome back to another video story mod showcase where today i'll be featuring the rusty shell mod it's actually a very new mod and you might be wondering where's the lab you said that mm, you you made the entirety of the lab just for mod showcase well there's few problems first of all the lab is in 1.18.7 which again this is a 1.18.8 mod and for some reason nowadays it is the extremely unstable stable like all you have to do is just switch an application or exit and well just in full screen mode then all it does is crush them out and this wasn't even my first time crushing out obviously so as you can see I have all the items so I start with the ammunition now first thing first we have to have from shot which you can cr have it by basically smithing any kind of metals I think you can start from any kind of bronze yeah, yeah I think yes you can craft from any kind of bronze or so, the next stop round we have three types of round shot so we have the basic spot which is a hollow you all need two happy round shot placing one up and down each other here and but and for this two they are different different purpose the grave variant will basically is this anti-personnel smooth ball kind of projectile what you need additionally is eight pieces of stone which ever kinds you have but yes it has to be the same obviously and the second step you have here is very interesting we have an explosive type which is actually where you turn stuff blasting powders of course and we have all the other stuff here just to clean load load blasting powder lots of cannons ram it up and then fire up and here we go we have two types of cannons with diff different kinds of recipes we have some siege gun now the siege gun well you can start crafting from things like from tin bronze to Basement bronze, black bronze, t up to iron and steel, which is actually <laughs> which all you need is, is very simple. You need two mood bar more. It uh, depends on what types of thing you choose. You, this time you're using steel instead. You need a steel, a steel plate, and four nail inch strip. Depends on. Of obviously depends on what which kind of materials if you're using. Iron, this all this got to be iron. It using bismuth bronze. It this all this will be bismuth bronze, and you need six for so what? And for the field gun, you need four smooth barriers, a steel plate, and you only four bars. But you also need additionally two wagon wheels, which again, this is very basic stuff. You need four are in plates, eight boards and basically a wooden axle. So what difference was the main difference these guys? Well basically this one is basically a simpler version. You all, all you need is it has of course a very low accuracy and low angle which means you can fire up so the range is very small. Meanwhile a field gun well, you has you can load m more blasting powders. I think you can have better accuracy and better range. And now, uh, oh, of course, I forgot one thing. So you also need a wrench so, to change the firing angle of this of these guys. So now I'll just take first a few round shot with me, a ram rod, a few plastic powders, a torch, and a steel wrench. Okay, I'll take, just take three of them. So I'll just begin here with a siege gun. So all I have to do is clean up. There we go. Now all you need first is adding detonators. So that really depends on how yeah, much you add. So maximum you can add is around a stack of them, which will give you a 2.5 times plus strength. Now next thing you do is add the detonator. You next load. And yeah, 
just keep loading it here. And there we go. Now I just now I, all I do next is I'm loading the range. I think this will be like it. Now I'm gonna fire it up. And you guys as you can see it is fired from here, yet it lands down there. And Oh dear, as you can see, we have stones that lying around here, smoke popping up in the air, and, and yeah, it's, it's off it. Let's see if so, let's try again if we can hit the wall this time. It seems like this guy is not clean up yet. Okay, let's no. Okay. Sometimes this guy will actually take. Some quite sometimes load in. Okay. I mean, this wasn't even my first time doing this out. So. Let's take another siege gun, load it up. Um, okay, since like it's actually broke. I oh, know, okay. How about I try this guy? Oh no, this one also broke as well, okay. Seems like there's still some issue running out of hand here. Like, I just firing a shot, and for some reason, you stop working. What? Seems like there is some minor issue here. We got to see that. Do cleaning. So uh, yeah, this might be a, a, a huge box. Which again, I'll be honest here. Oh, okay. There we go. So now let's just load some last powder again. Okay. Sometimes you can just expect when it when will it work? When it work? Oh boy! Like I think it's just be good because there's some process behind the code. I mean, to be honest, I will just give the mod here some room. He's he's actually quite little nailed here, so of course. There's still issues, and there's some thing that's right. Something went wrong during a running around. Run here, okay. I mean, I'll take that. Check out on the wiki if there's any kinds of stuff. Okay. Well, seems like looks looks like. For now, I, would, I think I have to put this into halt here, guys. I mean, not something that I would want it, but of course. Like this mod was basically introduced from the for a few days ago. I think. I think so. No, it's from, yeah, it's actually from a month ago, and now, well, it's just been patched, oh, there you go, but it's still not stable, so, 
but to be fair, not, not like as if it's climbing the saber as well. So I was just living here until now. So until then, stay close, stay updated, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.